Introducing Pi Smart PC, a tiny Linux desktop which can fit into your form like this. It has quad core ARM 64 bit SOC. It has a choice of 2 or 4 or 8 GB RAM. It can connect to two monitors with 4K resolutions. There are two HDMI ports here. You can connect to two monitors simultaneously. And it has four USB ports and one gigabit Ethernet. It has preloaded software for three different use cases. One, you can use it as a general purpose Linux desktop. Number two, as a smart TV box. Number three, your very own private cloud. Let's see each one in, in detail now. You can connect this CPU to any standard HDMI monitor, any standard USB keyboard and mouse. It will become a nice desktop. You can use it for any day-to-day -day computing tasks like checking emails. It is a Chrome browser. You can visit any websites or any email clients, any email services you can use it. And another important thing is it supports MS Office documents. You can create, edit, save any MS Office documents like Excel, Word, PowerPoint. We have an equivalent tool called LibreOffice, which is an open source tool. Let's see one example. Here is an Excel file. You can save this in .xls format, .xlsx format. It's fully compatible with Microsoft Office Excel. And similarly for documents, we have this writer. So here you can create, edit, save any Microsoft Office Word documents. You can save the file as .doc and .docx, which is fully compatible with Microsoft Word. And another popular use case is you can use it for video conferences. Any small kids can use it for school from home purpose or corporate employees use it for work from home devices or as a backup for the main laptops. You can use it to attend online conferences. Uh, it supports Microsoft, Microsoft Teams. There is an example of Microsoft Teams account of a school going kit. These are the learning subjects and uh, all the options are fully supported like download the content, attending the calls, chatting with the friends and school teams, conference calls, everything is supported. Another popular tool is Cisco Webex. Again, it is also supported. One more popular tool is Google Classrooms. Some schools are using this classroom solution. So it supports that also. And another popular tool is Zoom. So this device supports Zoom also. Apart from this, you can use it as a device to learn programming languages. You go to the start and programming. This is various programming tools. So with this applications, you can learn Java programming, Python programming, etc. You can connect to your corporate office network and access Citrix desktop also. You can connect to cloud servers using this putty terminal. Any Linux instances, you can easily take a putty session from here. And similar for Windows desktop and Windows servers, you can use this Citrix desktop client. 